Hey guys, and welcome to another extremely motivational video. In today's video, we are doing a little rage clean with me. <laughs> this all started a few videos back when I talked about, I think I called it angry declutter and clean with me. When I talked about as moms, how we can just get really frustrated sometimes with our homes or our family members or whatever, because it's just a complete disaster basically that's what sums it up it's a complete disaster a cluttered mess and i just can get to a breaking point sometimes and the amount of toys like little toys that we have is kind of insane and i decided i need to go through this home and i need to clean it up i need to declutter it i need to get things more organized and manageable for my own sanity because as this video is called i am rage cleaning at this point when i see the game room looking this messy especially as if you've been around here for a while you know that i have decluttered a ton and this game room has gotten a lot better but a lot of the toys that go in the kids rooms had made their way into the game room so there was way more toys than there should be in this particular space i think that was part Part of the problem and something I'm going to try to communicate with my kids in the future is that they need to keep the toys that I have specific bins for and organized in that specific room. Another thing that I noticed as I was cleaning and decluttering is that there were some toys that were just totally disrespected, just broken intentionally, some unintentionally, and it's just like, okay, this has seen better days, time to declutter it. But then some others, I noticed my boys had just kind of destroyed something at their little sisters, which was upsetting to me and I realized that we need to have a talk about respect when it comes to our toys and I think that when you have so many like this it just kind of becomes a free-for-all and you don't appreciate them as much so we need to have a talk about that as well because I was very frustrated with that as I was cleaning Many of you know that I have been decluttering all over my home. If you are new here, definitely check out the rest of my videos. I have a ton of decluttering videos. Specifically recently, I have been decluttering my home and it has felt so good, so freeing. It really helps me just relax more and not have to spend so much time worrying about picking up stuff. You guys will see in a little bit, even my teenager's room is so much better. He has allergies, so I dust and vacuum vacuum for him and that's all I had to do. I was able to just go do it without even saying to him, hey, pick up your room because he's been picking it up on his own. Like we've all been growing and changing and getting better at this kind of stuff. So she loves to play doctor. She's so sweet. But anyway, so things are definitely getting better. The toys, that's a struggle point for me with decluttering. And I think a part of the reason there's, there's multiple layers and multiple reasons for this. And I won't get in to all of them. Some of them are kind of deep, <laughs> but I will say a few. So one is I don't want to become so minimal that I'm that mean mom that just like jumped on the trend of minimalism and only let my kids have like five toys or like this is your one bin of toys this is all you can have you know what I mean just for the sake of minimalism I don't want to do that I am more than willing to work hard for my kids and I am willing to have some toys around that I have to pick up just because kids have toys and I much rather have a messy playroom than kids just in front of screens all day. I've said that for a long time on my channel and I stand by that. But at the same time, I think that if it's such a cluttered mess that it gets this bad, I think that it takes away the joy from the kids. They stop playing with it and they're not really learning about cleaning up very well because they're getting used to just having toys all over the place. 
So I'm working on teaching them to pick up after themselves. And I think I've shown in a recent video, I don't know if it's up yet, but even my Jack, who's four, he will um, pick up his toys. He loves toys. He's actually very into them and he's like passionate about them. And so he actually wants to take care of them. And I think that's a good thing. Like when they're acting like they want to take care of the things they own, it makes me okay with having a little bit extra toys because they want to take care of it. It's when they're trashing it or breaking something of their sister's or whatever that's when I'm not okay with it so anyway I'm just trying to strike that balance in life I think we all struggle with that where we will kind of shift to one extreme or the other of course we're imperfect human beings and so there's no way we're gonna find like the perfect way to live because we're always gonna be flawed and make mistakes but we can do our best to be intentional and to try to be more in the middle so that's what I want to be with the kids toys I want to get them you know decluttered and throw away things that we don't use like we don't use this easel thing it broke like <laughs> i have been needing to get rid of that for so long and i was like you know what i'm doing it today i also decided to get rid of those little white chairs i am being very brutal you guys when it comes to decluttering and i'm loving it i'm getting rid of things that in the past i never would have gotten rid of but i'm thinking do we even use this or do the kids just flip these chairs over and never really sit in them oh and they're getting messy because they're white and that's never a good thing to have with kids so you know what it's time it's time to let them go and it has felt so good to look at things differently in a little bit i declutter some of my kids books like our children's books and that felt so good i'll talk more about that when we get to that point but i have decluttered those books before but never this amount it's just a different mindset that i have where i still want to keep the toys that we actually use the books that we actually use but be brutal about the things that we don't really think about it do we use this so anyway I'm just trying to strike that balance I will also say one other thing I listened to one of Rachel Cruz's books she's the daughter of Dave Ramsey and she talks about how how you spend money is can can be influenced by your childhood I think that's so true and as a kid I um, suffered from some neglect in certain areas and I think that's part of why I feel the need to get my kids so many toys sometimes I noticed that about their clothes too is because I want them to feel loved and cared for but I think that I can go to the extreme with that so anyway I'm just sharing my thoughts and like why I might have so many things and how I'm trying to let go of a lot of them while still holding on to the things that we actually use and enjoy
So as you guys just saw, we have some broken items like that little baby doll rocking horse. I actually thrifted that and was so excited to put it in my baby girl's room and she really liked putting her baby dolls on it and I discovered it completely broken. And I know that one of my boys like hit it against something and they really, they're still very young. They're only six and four and I don't think they were maliciously doing it, you know, but it was pretty upsetting to me and I just thought, you know, I need to really talk with them about respecting others' things, especially their little sisters. Like they've taken the heads off the Barbie dolls. I've shown you guys that. Things like that, that I don't think they would do that to their own toys, you know, but with hers, they're little bit more reckless so I am trying to communicate with them that we need to respect others things as well as our own and I think that as I declutter and organize and keep our home more tidy that they will get that message by example that we take care of our home we take care of our things much more even than a discussion however a discussion was had as well and then also that um store is just seen better days so it's definitely time to throw that out unfortunately and it's kind of hard for me to do but it does feel good it's a big piece to declutter at least and now it is time to dust and vacuum my teenager's room like i said earlier he has allergies so i do this for him i also kind of think of it as like if we had a housekeeper they would do this you know he would be expected to pick things up in his room which he had for the most part and you know not have cups or you know anything like that in his room and a housekeeper will come in and just wipe things down and vacuum and everything so we do not have a housekeeper i am the housekeeper so i do this for him but it's mainly to for um his allergies it was definitely overdue i feel like i need to get on a better routine with dusting especially in his room it's just something that i don't always think of but i want to be better about it
my little Jack Jack is the cutest thing ever in my opinion. I told him I needed to do the before shot before we could start cleaning him and Henry's room and he was like okay I'm just gonna stand right here while you do that. And he just had this serious look on his face and it was the cutest thing ever but he was very excited to do this. He actually wanted to clean his room like the night before or something and I was really tired and I was like you know what bud let's wait until tomorrow and we will really tackle this room together so we did that for sure this is him and Henry's room however Jack is the one that's into like all the action figures and stuff a lot more than Henry so a lot of the toys are his or from his mess however Henry will play with him and they have a good time together so Henry did come help some as well but we created this little toy closet because they have two closets in their room we created this toy closet recently and it's been wonderful but things had just not been put away properly and it just become like a complete disaster in here so it was time to put things away and I have my trash bag with me I carry this around all upstairs and throw away you know just random broken things or extra toys that I know we can't give away and we don't want anymore and just really give this room a nice tidy and they're already playing so much in here since we did this it felt so good When we first set this up, I tried to organize all of his guys by type, so like 
army guys in one bin and then like he has these special metal figures he really likes in one bin and so on smaller um like superhero type action figures larger ones whatever and i think i was trying to get too specific and it's too difficult for a four-year-old to do so i try to kind of you know organize them so that he can find things because that's my main goal is that um he's able to find his things but if i make it too particular then he can't put it away properly and he won't be able to find things again because he'll just kind of throw them in the corners of the closet like he did because we have tidied up this room and you know off camera multiple times and he kind of just had thrown stuff in there so I try to make it just more manageable and make more sense to him and then as we clean up together I'm going to try to show him like hey how about you put these specific toys in here just so he you know has a good idea of what to do with them I'm hoping that will help but keep it like pretty simple Henry really wanted to show you guys his ear. It's like a little red right now. We're not sure why. So if you guys have any ideas, let us know. He didn't like lay on it or hit it on anything. So we don't know what the deal is with that. It's just kind of like irritated right now, but he wanted to show you guys. Don't worry. He's going to be okay. We are monitoring it, but it's so sweet to me. Like the things that he wants to show you guys, um, that are just like totally nothing to do with cleaning, but it's really cute. So now we are cleaning underneath the bed. There's honestly a ton more toys in here. I just kind of got the ones that I could see and I do want to just move the bed and get all of the toys and stuffed animals that are under there and like vacuum under there so I will do that in a future video but for today I just couldn't stand like the toys that I could see so I really wanted to get under there declutter them I found of course a few treasures for them certain toys they had been looking for forever you know <laughs> that kind of thing so it was good to get done
when I declutter something like this, I like to get every single thing out, look at it all, and really think about if I want to keep it or not, or what the purpose of it is. I tried to be really realistic here. Uh, something that prompted me to do this was my little Jack Jack, my four year old. He has been loving having me read to him at night. And when we would go into this closet, first of all, the floor had become cluttered up so we could hardly walk in it. And then second of all, there were so many books that he just wasn't even interested in in there. So we kind of have to dig and struggle to find the best ones because we have some really good ones that he loves. And I thought, you know, why do we have all these books in here that we don't even use? That book was from my grandmother. I almost got rid of it. And then I was like, no, because it has a page ripped out of the front. But I was like, no, it's vintage and it's from my grandmother. So I'm keeping it. But anyway, <laughs> so it's okay to keep some things. Even if you think, you know, maybe I shouldn't because the page is ripped out, whatever. So anyway, um, I just thought this is not functional in here for him. And um, I think a part of why I let it get this bad for this long too is because we were kind of out of the habit of reading at night when my oldest son had his bowel obstruction and had just that medical emergency. It was like a six month ordeal. I was flat out just gone for like two months, something like that. And uh, we just got out of routine of things that we do. Like I love books. That's why we have so many. I love reading to my kids and especially my two little ones love to be read too. So I really wanted to get back into the routine of doing that. And I thought it would be really motivational to declutter the books and just have them kind of organized in certain genres or certain authors that we like so we can find what we want easily.
So I put some of those books in bins because I plan to bring them to half price books and try to sell them. I recently made like 30 bucks on some books that I sold to them recently. Well, yeah, I just said that recently. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I had thought, hey, 30 bucks is better than nothing. So that's nice. And then anything they don't want, I can try to give to Goodwill. I did throw away some of the books that was like they're supposed to make noise and they don't or they have issues. And then I put some of the books with our homeschool stuff in our office because I realized they're more educational type books that the kids aren't going to gravitate towards when they just want me to read them a story before bed. But I still want to keep them so they were just kind of in the wrong location and then I had them stacked instead of doing them upright like vertical I stacked them horizontally so that um, they could be organized and they're not like all falling over and I feel like it's just so much more clean and we can see what we have so I'm really happy with how that turned out the kids bed I know guys they love their stuffed animals they just do so <laughs> I am not going to keep them from that they're small humans and so even though there's a lot of stuffed animals on those beds there's still plenty of space for them and they kick them off or whatever if they need to so anyway Oh, I also found some books that I thought my baby girl would like. So she's so cute. Oh, she puts her arms up like, you gonna pick me up or what's going on here? Are you carrying me? What's happening here? But she found the books and she loves books just as much as her mama. So she started reading them already. I knew she would love them. So then I thought I would just share with you guys me tidying up my baby girl's room. I have a same similar situation with her in that I tried to have her closet with specific toys organized in there. Although I need a cube organizer for her. And it's really working out well. We just kind of clean it all up, fold up the little houses and boom, it's nice and tidy.